Ahoy there, landlubbers. Ever heard sailors or pilots throw around the term nautical mile and thought, what in Poseidon's name is that? Well, strap on your floaty, because today we're diving deep into the weird world of nautical measurements. Because apparently the normal miles we use on land just aren't good enough for the ocean. So, what is a nautical mile? All right, first, let's talk about what a regular mile is. On land, a mile is 5,280 feet. Simple, logical, works perfectly fine. But no, the ocean had to be different. Enter the nautical mile. A nautical mile is 1,852 meters, or 6,076.1 feet. That's about 15% longer than a land mile, because when you're on a boat, everything has to be extra. Now, you might be wondering, why? What's so special about the ocean that we need a whole new mile for it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Why is it called that? A nautical mile isn't just a random number some old sailor made up after one too many rum punches. It's actually based on the Earth's shape and navigation. Here's the deal. The Earth is a big, roundish ball, and when we map it out, we divide it into imaginary horizontal slices called degrees of latitude, kind of like slicing a giant space orange. Each degree of latitude is split into 60 minutes, not time minutes, but arc minutes, which is just fancy talk for tiny slices of the Earth's belly. And guess what? One nautical mile is equal to one of these minutes of latitude. So, when sailors are out in the open sea with zero road signs and no Google Maps, they can use the Earth's natural geometry to figure out where they are. Why should you care? Great question. If you're just walking to the store for snacks, you'll never need a nautical mile. But if you're sailing the seven seas like a true pirate, flying an airplane, yes, pilots use nautical miles too, or trying to sound super smart at a party, then this is a very handy fact to know. In aviation and maritime navigation, distances are always measured in nautical miles. Why? Because it syncs up perfectly with latitude and longitude. Instead of using weird land-based measurements that don't work on a curved Earth, nautical miles keep things consistent across the globe. OK, let's talk about knots, the speedy cousin of the nautical mile. Now, if you've ever heard someone say, we're going 20 knots. You might have thought, well, that boat really likes tying knots. Is that how fast they can tie their shoes? No. Nope. A knot is just one nautical mile per hour. That means if a ship is going 10 knots, it's moving at 10 nautical miles per hour. Fun fact, this term comes from an actual old school method sailors used to measure speed. Back in the day, they would throw a rope with knots tied in it overboard, let it drag behind the ship for a set amount of time, and count how many knots passed through their hands and that's how knots became a unit of speed. And yes, that means the Titanic hit the iceberg at around 22 knots, which is roughly 25 miles per hour. So next time you're driving through a school zone, just remember you're going about as fast as the Titanic, hopefully with better results. So what did we learn today? A nautical mile is based on the Earth's shape and is about 15% longer than a land mile. It's used in navigation because sailors like to be fancy. Knots are just nautical miles per hour, not something to do with ropes, usually. And now, the next time someone brings up nautical miles, you can confidently say yeah. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe and hit that bell so you never get lost at sea. Or at least not without knowing how far you're going. See you next time.